Following a best interest process, child migrants may be assisted with return and reintegration to their country of origin as one of the sustainable solutions that ensure their protection, survival and development. The UN Convention on the Rights of the Child has non-discriminatory guiding principles that explain the child's best interests and their right to survival, development and treatment in line with their age and maturity. There are a number of different types of reintegration programming that take children into account to a greater or lesser degree. We recommend a child-sensitive approach, which ensures that reintegration programs in general can respond to children's vulnerabilities. Children have a distinct set of vulnerabilities. Physical. Children are more susceptible to malnutrition and disease because of their fragile immune systems. Dependency. As children rely on adults for their livelihood, Neglect and abuse will compound vulnerabilities. Institutionalized disadvantage. Children tend to be devalued based on perceptions of their age. The EU IOM Knowledge Management Hub and Samuel Hall, in cooperation with Save the Children, developed a monitoring toolkit, including a set of good practices for the reintegration of child returnees. The Monitoring Toolkit and Good Practices offers a set of practical tools, including a quantitative survey, case studies, focus group discussions, and key informant interviews that consider the diverse experiences of child returnees. The toolkit was developed for stakeholders in reintegration who need tailored tools to monitor the reintegration of children, and for staff working in countries of origin and host countries responsible for planning and coordination. Access the toolkit on the Return and Reintegration platform today.